So I want to shift gears. I want to talk a little bit. It spills off of what you're just talking about, AI and geopolitics. And so let's just start. U.S. government obviously changing the landscape around semiconductors and semiconductor exports around the world. How is that going to reshape global competition around these technologies? So if you do a, a world survey, Europe is now in the process of writing um, regulations that will make it almost impossible to do the things that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. This is a mistake. They've been told this many times and they don't, I guess they don't have enough internal counterweight against regulation inside of Europe to hold them back. That's a problem. Britain has an online safety bill, which is not as bad, but is also highly regulatory. That may or may not hurt them. China has a, an AI ethics and AI rules, which effectively make it impossible to use large language models without a lot of censorship. Mm -hmm. You can't answer the Tiananmen Square thing. So America, for all of our faults, looks like we have a chance to move quickest. My scoring is that the US and the UK are basically ahead. Europe is going to be behind and will remain behind unless something changes. And China is at least three years behind, partly because they didn't get into the space because of fear of regulation, and another because of the lack of Chinese language information. Think about it. We're all doing this training on English. There's lots of English training, Absolutely. much less than Chinese. And then finally, the impact of these chip curbs. In October 7th of last year, the uh, Biden administration announced restrictions on exports for high-speed chips. There's a lot of evidence that those have hurt China, um, at least for a while. China is working really hard to catch up. They're trying to do their training outside the country. They're trying to evade the rules in ways that all make perfect sense. But it's going to be very hard for them to catch up. At a minimum, it's a tax <clears throat> on China versus the U.S.